are very happy in introducing a new device uh, for our patients in on the Cayman Islands. Uh, this is called as the CCM device uh, for heart failure. This is specifically used in patients with congestive heart failure where the heart pumping function has come down in spite of medications. I became sick. I started to get a short of breath. I noticed that uh, things that I used to do, um, it would, you know, take a little bit more time or I get tired quicker. We had one such eligible patient who had to have recurrent hospital admissions in spite of medications, his pumping function had come down to something like 25 to 30 percent, uh, a normal is 60 percent as we are aware. By doing this particular device, he's shown a remarkable improvement even just at two weeks after implant. Everything's been great since day one with them and even after the surgery. For sure, no short of bread since that um, the surgery. Um, and, and, and I found myself, because uh, they give me notice to start back exercise and I start back working uh, about a week ago. And so far, you know, I feel much, much better. One of the traditional methods for this has been what is called as a cardiac resynchronization therapy, where we uh, implant a special pacemaker, which kind of normalizes the conduction abnormality in the heart. All patients are not eligible for this. Uh, it all depends on what the shape of the ECG is like and in some patients whose uh, shape of the ECG does not uh, uh, allow a beneficial impact because of CRT, we need to look at alternative options. did several checks and uh, came to that conclusion that they will implant this impulse and we'll go from there. The CCM device uh, functions by giving non-contractile stimuli to the heart. And it modulates the metabolism of the heart in such a way uh, that its contractile function improves. Yeah, it's not a, like a pacemaker. Actually, pacemaker is actually giving impulses to when the heart rate is low or something. And But this device acts as to improve the LV function, so the pumping of the heart. The pacemakers, everything is works with ones like 24 by 7 or something. But these devices works every one hour and then gives four hours for normal heart to this one and then again one hour like. That, that's the main goal to make sure that the heart have the right beat and it doesn't go any lower than that. And it shouldn't over a period of time. As long as I'm doing what they ask me to do and taking the medication along with this device. This is uh, made by a company called Impulse Dynamics. It's a UK based company. And this is the pulse generator which is implanted on the right side in this patient uh, below the skin and uh, below the collarbone. Uh, it's connected by leads and these leads are implanted, uh, two of these leads are implanted in the bottom chamber of the heart called the right ventricle. They are implanted in positions different from the conventional pacemaker position. So what uh, the machine does is between these two leads, it generates an electrical field uh, which uh, stimulates the heart during a particular phase, electrical phase. And uh, this, although doesn't actually contract the heart, it will stimulate uh, the metabolism in the heart and allow for better contraction. And in the long term, it improves uh, the functionality of the whole. Dr. Ravi is, um he, he, he's very easy to understand and he, he gets to the point. I would definitely recommend HealthSet to anyone. Anytime. With my past experience with them, I, would, I definitely would. What we are proud of is that uh, this is the first time we have introduced uh, this device uh, in the entire Caribbean and uh, even in the US it's an investigational device so it's not routinely implanted in patients in the US and uh, none of them have been implanted uh, even in Central America and uh, South America. So in that sense I think we have introduced yet another novel therapy uh, in the region.